I know you guys really like the dirty ones. So let's get her did. In today's episode, we are discussing how to pressure wash a house with chemicals. Um, before we get started, guys, I want to talk a little bit about the prep work. Uh, of course, I'm doing a separate video on this, so you know we're, you're you're going to get a chance to see exactly how we do it. But if you look on the right, the bottom right screen there, you're going to see a a plastic bag. Uh, that was part of the prep work. Um, the first thing I did when I showed up to this house, we have, um, as a company, this is what we do. We we cover up all the electrical outlets with blue painters tape. And then this guy had two different um, phone boxes, Verizon boxes. One of them, the box wasn't even there. It was just a mess of wires. So that's what you see there. That black bag is covering the Verizon box. We do this. We cover the cameras. Uh, not that not the cameras all the way up there, but we cover the the ring camera on the door, and we also cover, uh, like for example, if there's plugs in the outlet, we we take the plugs out and then we cover all the outlets. In this this case here, this this house had four. Um, I'm actually here to only do two walls. I'm doing this side here that you guys see me doing, and the other the other side. And one of the things about this channel that is, a, I would say, a little bit different, maybe than other channels, we do discuss pricing on this channel because we want you guys, you know, fully prepared, fully armed with as much information as you as 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 you can uh, obtain. So this house originally, we told the homeowner to do the whole house was three ninety nine, and he just wanted two sides done. So that's what you see me doing here two side wash and we charged him 299 now moving on talking about the the equipment side if you're wondering you know what we're using here as far as equipment i would suggest you go back and watch episode 2 in episode 2 uh we do the breakdown of two of our truck rigs our downstreaming rigs and uh, I'm actually one of the trucks that, uh, th that is featured on that video, I'm actually using it here. So highly recommend uh, you go back and you, and you watch that. Now, uh, as far as the, the solution that I'm using here, I am using a 6% house washing mix. Again, guys, I'm downstreaming 6% or a, as it's often called a 50-50 mix. And what you see me doing here, guys, is, you know, if, if like, let's say you're either thinking about starting a pressure washing business or you are already in the middle of um, starting that business, you know, and let's say you, you have less than three years and you're still learning how to uh, safely and properly pressure wash a house with chemicals, um, this, this, this video is definitely for you. And we basically have a a very simple system and the system is this you're you're whenever you're downstreaming a house you are going to start on your dirtiest wall okay so typically you know every house you got four sides right so you're going to have one side that is the worst and then you start there then you go to the second worst the third worst and so and so forth and the other thing is you're going to start at the corner of that wall and you're going to work your way to the other corner. And you're going to start with your fan tip. And this is very important. You're going to go from ground to gutter. Again, from ground to gutter. And this is going to help you to prevent streaking. And it, it helps also with the, the application of the soap to the, the wall there. And this is what you see me doing here. I started on the left side and then I went all the way to the right side with my fan tip. Again, I'm using a J rod. Um, if you don't know what the J what a, what a J rod is, I would just suggest you you know you Google that. But um, I'm hoping you know a good 99% of you guys are already familiar with a J rod is. So, and then um, and that's what you see me doing here is I'm moving from one side to the other side to the other side. And like I was saying, you're gonna see. Me switch to my fan tip, my fan soap tip, and again I go from ground to gutter as far as the fan tip will allow me to go, 
And that's what you see me doing right there. You know, and uh, typically we do hit windows. You know, windows are going to get soap on them regardless of what we do. But mm, I would say for the most part, we only hit windows if, if we have no choice. If there's, in this case here, he had a little bit of bird poop on that, that uh, bigger window up there. And uh, he also had a little bit of mil mildew on the, on the frame of the window. So the bottom line is uh, the, the, the house wash is divided into two phases. So phase number one is the soap phase, or as we often call it, sauce phase. You know, so you're saucing up the house with your, with your solution. And then, um, and then phase number two, you're going to, you're going to rinse off the, the walls, the windows and plants. Now this house here didn't really have any plants. So it's not something that we, we, we really had to worry about, but you, you see, so I'm, I'm on my fan tip here. I'm going from ground to gutter all the way up as far as the fan tip will allow me to go and then at some point you know you, you you've gone as high as you can with your fan tip so you switch to your shooter tip now um i'm actually at almost the, the middle point of this this first phase which is the soap phase and what you're going to see me do here um in the next couple minutes is I'm going to switch to the second part of that soap phase, which is the spot treating. So I go back to the very beginning. I switch to my shooter tip and I come back through again and I do another round of, of sauce, but just spot treating the spots on the gutter and, and other areas that were a little bit more difficult to get rid of. So, of course, you know, um, as, as you learn this business, I'm sure you've heard the term dwell time. It's just basically a way of saying, you know, the how the chemical marinates on the wall and uh, reacts with the uh, with the bacteria that's on there and and the dwell time typically for your downstreaming mix is going to be between 8 to 12 minutes I would say I, I think it, for us as a company it's right around there 8 8 to 8 or 9 minutes so that means that your solution will stay on that wall for 8 9 minutes start to react with all the bacteria your mildews your algaes your your, your molds or and what have you and then it's going to that's going to die and then once you come through um, with your rinse you that stuff is just going to come out like knife through butter so and that's what you see me doing here so I'm actually done right here with phase number one and again guys the the, the goal is not to sit uh, I would say the number one mistake that new guys make when they are learning how to downstream a house is that they, they, they'll they sit on that wall for 10, 15 minutes because they want to see everything churn, churn clean immediately. It does not work that, that way. You, you, you just need to uh, apply the soap to the wall. You need to sauce that wall up. Let that sauce sit, again, 8 to 12 minutes, and, and let the solution work for you. And so this is now, you see me, I'm on the second part of phase one, which again, it's called spot treating. As you can see, I'm not saucing up the whole wall. In this case here, um, there was one, there was like two spots on the fascia board up there that were really bad. And then behind that little section there where you see me, the the downspout behind the gutter was, was uh, black and green a little bit. So I'm moving on to the second wall already. Um, when, when you're spot treating, guys, you're spending, I don't know, less than a minute, two minutes max on the wall. And, um, you know, you're just hitting those spots. And here I'm hitting the gutter. Oh, and by the way, um, you, might be, you might be very interested to ask uh, what, what, what our hose is that we're using here. And the company, guys, I'm going to put it here on the screen for you, Zorro.com. Zorro.com, and I will put the actual picture of the of the hose here, and highly recommend you guys use this. We've been using this hose, this pressure hose, for um, for years and years and years. Reliable, lightweight, and super durable. I I've been in this business now for ten years, and that is by far the best pressure hose we have ever used. And so I would highly recommend you guys. I'm not affiliated with them in any kind of way. We don't get any money from this. It's just a really, really darn good hose. And I recommend you guys use that, you know, uh, for your, your pressure washer. So um, again, I'm, I'm not saucing up here the whole wall. I am simply spot treating. There was one spot on that middle of the gutter there that was still really bad. This customer has gutter guards and those things do not work. 
Uh, his gutter guards are clogged, full of bacteria. That's why you know, the, his house is so grimy because that stuff is just pouring out of his gutters. Now, so what you see me doing here is the sauce phase is done. Right, you're only going to switch to to rinse mode, guys, if there's absolutely no more green, no more black anywhere. Because remember, pressure does not remove pressure. It, pressure is not sanitizing. Pressure washing is not sanitizing, and also pressure washing is harmful to the to to the siding. Right? I mean, you can damage siding, break screens, etc. So here. With this um, downstreaming, you're not using any pressure. You're just applying the solution through your downstream injector. And, um, you know, you're letting the solution work for you. And then imagine if I had a pressure washer here, guys, I'd be going up and down ladders. That's super unsafe. And I'd be damaging the customer's property, which is even worse. Um, but this is how, you know, this is how it's done. This is how professionals are, 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 are washing houses in less than 45 minutes. The, the actual real time it took me, and, and I mean, again, guys, I was setting up camera and I was moving the camera around and it took me 37 minutes. Without all the camera stuff, I would have been in and out in, in 20 some minutes. And again, it was a $299 job to do this, pressure wash this house using chemicals. So um, what you see me do here now is the rinse. You see me rinsing. The objective here is not to rinse, you know, the entire wall and, uh, you know, make sure every single little board has water on it. Guys, there's a lot of water coming out of that machine. So when you rinse, it's the opposite of the soap phase. Now you're going to go from gutter to ground. You're going to start up high. You're going to hit your windows. We like to hit... Um, you know, five to 10 seconds on the windows. The, the window usually has two pieces of glass on the window. So we're going to hit five seconds on each one of those. Start up high and then rinse your way down. This is what you see me doing here. And then also we rinse off the chemical off that uh, the AC units. So, you know, we don't want chemicals sitting on that. And um, I'm moving on to the back here. So um, rinsing off windows, rinsing off debris off the wall, debris off of the, uh, of the gutter as well. And um, it's pretty much that simple. You know, I mentioned this in every video that we do. You know, you need three essential things to, to, to do a good job and to be considered a professional in this business, right? You need to be skilled. That only comes from experience. So you, that's going to take years for you to acquire that. You need to be knowledgeable about your chems, right? So that's why uh, episode 10, guys, watch that. Uh, we break down all the chemicals there. Uh, the title is Eight Essential Chemicals of the Pressure Washing Industry, your degreasers, your rust removal. Of course, uh, we talk about SH and how to how to batch mix and all of that. And there's a, a cool little calculator in there for you guys, for you guys to figure out how to make your own chemical. Um, but yeah, so you got to have that chemical knowledge. And then finally, guys, you've got to have superior equipment. You need those three things in order to do a... A professional job, right? Not to be considered a chuck in a truck, as they say. So, you know, you, you got to have that chemical knowledge. You got to have superior equipment. And of course, you need the experience to be able to do it. That's how you, that's how come professionals, you know, will do a house wash in 45 minutes or less because they've acquired the years in the field to be able to do that. And like I was saying, you know, I'm, I'm in a rinse phase here. Guys, uh, we're coming down to the wire here of, of this uh, pressure washing this house. Of course, you know, like I said in the beginning, we're using chemicals, makes everything super easy. You know, we tell our customers typically, you know, you're looking at one to three years before the growth in this in this uh, in this house. Of course, the customer here, you know, his house surrounded by trees, and he might be calling back in a year, but you know, typically you're looking one to three years. And here, guys, I, I was actually spraying the 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 window there because the kids were all excited about the about the water so i was playing with the kids it's you know it's important for you to go out there and have fun and enjoy yourself and and also be passionate about what you do you know and and as you can see here you know i'm hitting high i'm hitting low i'm just getting off as much uh of the solution as possible off of the siding and also of the windows and 10 years that I've been doing this, I've never had to go back to a house to redo a window. I've never had issues with streaking of any kind. And again, it's because, you know, if if you're putting 
water on that wall, the way you leave the house is, you know, the way it looks in the end is how it's going to look when it dries and it'll look like that tomorrow and so forth. And, uh, you know, this house hadn't been washed. Uh, I think the owner said that he moved here four years ago and it's never been done, you know, since he's lived here. So, I mean, you know, you know, I don't know. It could be more than eight, nine years or more since this, this house has been washed. And, um, you know, as you come through, you know, you're, you're just getting as much water on it as possible. I'm rinsing off. You can't tell here, but you know, I'm rinsing off a little bit of bird poop, a little bit of debris that was on the wall. Again, you know, it comes from that stupid, um, what is that thing called up there? The, the gutter guard. That thing is a massive waste of money. I do, do not understand why people get those things. And, um, you know, with windows, guys, you know, as long as you're putting, um, you know, with these bigger windows, for example, the ones that you see me hitting right now, those are getting about 10 seconds of water. And then I counted, I actually counted out in my head. I go one, two, three, four, five, 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 just like that. I hit five seconds in each, in each window. And then I move on. Then, um, again, as you can see me, what I was talking about here, you know, I'm rinsing from the top going all the way to the bottom. And then also guys, um, I highly, highly recommend you watch the, the next video. Um, we had a customer that wanted us to pressure wash his vinyl fence, his grimy vinyl fence. We, and he was a little skeptical when we told him that we were going to, uh, we were going to soft wash it, but, um, yeah, he didn't understand that it, you don't need pressure to clean everything. And that, that vinyl fence, that job that we did, I mean, that thing, the fence was in bad shape and, you know, it, it, it would not have been recommended to pressure wash that anyway. So anyway, but the customer was super skeptical. He had never heard of soft washing before. He was skeptical that, you know, the fence would be cleaned up just with a um, soft washing solution. But, you know, we, we definitely proved him wrong. So I'll see you guys over there in your next video. Uh, just go ahead and click that and uh, I'll catch you guys over there.